so this is the continuation of lecture number 22 and i will continue with uh, rotor swept area the swept area is the area through which uh, the rotor blades of a wind turbine are spinning uh, the rotor area is as seen when uh, directly uh, wind is directly facing the center of the rotor blades uh, the power output of a wind turbine uh, directly is uh, directly related uh, to the swept area of its blade the rotor swept area or the swept area of a wind turbine is given by the relation a equals pi by 4 times d square where the d is the rotor diameter for horizontal axis wind turbine shown for vertical axis wind turbine the uh, uh, rotor area is given by elliptical integra uh, integrals uh, with approximated parabolic blades. Uh, the area for vertical uh, swept area for vertical axis uh, wind turbine is given by 2 by 3 times the uh, maximum rotor width at the center multiplied by the overall height of the rotor. The next is the uh, solidity the uh, solid ratio of a wind uh, rotor from single blade to three blades is relatively small which is low solid wind uh, rotor and the rotor has high solidity ratio if it has uh, more blades like 12 or 15 blades so this will be called high solid wind rotor the solidity is the uh, defined as the ratio of the solid uh, solid area to the swept area of the blade and it is usually 5 to 10 percent for a uh, thin blade uh, turbine system with two to three blades low solidity uh, ratio uh, uh, is more cost effective because it consumes less materials in a manufacturing process the next uh, important uh, parameter is the air density that is uh, rho and it is uh, calculated by the gas laws the gas laws uh, are the laws that relate uh, pressure volume and the temperature of the gas uh, there are basically uh, three uh, gas laws known as the Boyle's law, the Chaw's law and Avogadro's law. The empirical uh, relation formulated by the uh, uh, Robert uh, Boyle uh, state that the uh, pressure of a given quantity of a gas varies inversely with respect to its volume uh, if the uh, temperature is kept constant uh, given by PV equals K. Uh, the Charles law on the other hand is a law which states that the volume of the gas at constant pressure is uh, di directly proportional to absolute temperature. The Avogadro law uh, is a, uh, states uh, that under the same conditions of uh, temperature and pressure equal volumes of different gases uh, will contain equal number of molecules so the uh, air density uh, rho is given by the uh, gas law as uh, rho equals p divided by rt where uh, p is the air pressure and r is a gas constant and p is the temperature on absolute scale the air density at sea level with atmospheric pressure of 1 and a temperature of 60 degree Fahrenheit is 1.225 kilograms per cubic meter the next important factor that is related directly to the air density is uh, the spy, uh, uh, site specific air density that is corrected based on the reference at the sea level up to the height of 6000 or uh, 6000 meter or 20000 foot 
using the relation raw equals uh, raw not that is uh, the density at uh, sea level multiplied by e power minus 0 0.297 hm divided by c048 where hm is the uh, site elevation and it is measured in meters the site specific uh, temperature in centigrade is uh, given by t equals 15.5 minus 19.83 hm divided by 3048 the next uh, are the two uh, important instruments uh, that are basically used to uh, uh, measure the uh, uh, speed of the wind and to find out the direction of the wind a revolving pointer to show the uh, direction of the wind is typically mounted uh, uh, as shown in this figure this is known as weather vane 0 to degree to north and 90 degree east 180 degrees means south and 270 degrees means west so basically with uh, the air changing its uh, wind uh, is basically changing its uh, direction the arrow uh, points the uh, direction or the flow of the air the next one is the anometer anemometer uh, and it is used for measuring the speeds of wind these are the three to four cups on a uh, pole that rotate in wind and turn the generator shaft the generated voltage is then used to uh, calculate the wind speed this is the example of a pneumometer these are the four cups which will be uh, revolving uh, when the uh, wind is hitting these cups and this is the generator which in turn will be producing the voltage or the electrical energy so this is an example of an ultrasonic uh, anemometer uh, ultrasonic anemometer uh, basically work on the principle that uh, the travel time for a sound wave to the air is affected by the wind speed component parallel uh, with the uh, direction of the travel. The basic element of uh, ultrasonic anemometer uh, consists of an ultrasonic uh, sound emitter and a receiver on the opposite, opposite side like in this, uh, this will be transmitting and this will be receiving and uh, this will be transmitting and this side will be uh, receiving so uh, using uh, this we can uh, find the uh, speed of the weight the uh, advantages of uh, using uh, these types of uh, ultrasonic anemometer are that there are no moving parts so uh, there are no uh, frictional losses so these tend to, uh, to be more accurate and uh, faster in response moreover they do not uh, require any type of calibration at site and they sample uh, the wind speed every 2 seconds for 10 minutes and average these uh, 300 uh, samples to calculate the overall wind speed also it can keep a uh, log of 10 minutes average wind speed the raw data can be processed by the software if uh, required 